free. Lift your voice and sing with me. Ba da dum dum dum, ba dum dum dum. With the devil, grab your hand. Here's one thing that he can't stand. Ba da dum dum dum, ba dum dum dum. Good morning, Ask You fans. Welcome to another vigil. We got a really good one this morning. Ten, ten reasons to bring ice cubes to your job interview. When they got a lot of people out there now out of work, they're going to job interviews, they might want to edge. This is going to be a good video, a good video for y'all. Ten reasons to bring ice cubes. I would be remiss, I would be remiss not to thank all of you. For your support of the Ice Cube channel in the recent months, we have been just exploding, exploding millions of views each day on my YouTube channel. I took the liberty to go over some of my most recently popular videos on Ice Cubes on my channel. How Ice Cubes changed my life forever. One of my top, my very top, tippy top, tippy top videos. Over 752 million views. You have been eating ice cubes all wrong. Another big one. 17 ways to improve your love life with ice cubes. The top 10 things to never do with ice cubes. How rich people are using their ice cubes and do not want you to know. I ate ice cubes for 90 days and this happened to me. Next week, we got a really good one. How this 12 year old child makes $17,000 per month with three ice cube trays. Finally, if you see ice cubes like this in a restaurant, you need to run. You need to run. Those are some of the most popular videos and the amount of views I'm getting is almost uncountable. But enough of that. Let's get started with today's video. We need to do a video on clamping papers. So 10 reasons to bring ice cubes to your job interview. Number one reason to stay cool. If your job site interview places they're hot and stuffy you can put ice cubes all over your face to stay hydrated which leads me to the reason number two bringing ice cubes can keep you hydrated number three they can just make you freshen up and feel nice and cool like a cucumber ice cubes will create a memorable a memorable impression during your job interview trust me you gotta, you, you gotta trust me. No pun intended. Bringing ice cubes will break the ice during the job interview. Bringing ice cubes will show creativity if you explain to the job interviewer reasons why for you brought your ice cubes therein. Ice cubes shows preparedness. You're ready for anything. Ice cubes show you have a fine almost crazed like attention to detail if you're willing to go into detail about why you were feeling the urge and need to bring the ice cubes ice cubes will create a conversation starter and break the ice with the person you're having the interview with and be able to connect on a personal level finally if the interview is going poorly when the ice cubes melt they will create some liquid you could drop onto the floor and create a slip and fall situation and avail yourself of local attorney. I have some good ones. And you may profit from the situation that previously did not look promising. So those are 10 good, excellent reasons you, you can bring ice cubes to your next, to your next job interview. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you come back tomorrow, and I know you will. 
we're getting millions of views on these videos on ice cubes so the only thing left now to do is to create the photo for my thumbnail which means I should make my mouth as big as I can be tall they don't make them like Jenna marbles anymore let me check see what my videos are oh 700 then 39 million views in 24 hours pretty good I think I think that calls I think that calls for a celebration it's time for some tutti frutti ice cream how can it get any better oh I know look at that sprinkles Mr. Cardo. Mr. Cardo. Put it in the hole. That's what she said. Okay. It's open. It's open. Come on in. It's open. Ah. Hello. Hey, Mr. Ricardo. Hey, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. It's amazing. We've been trying to find you. We've been trying to find you for weeks and weeks. It's so pleasant to finally get to see you, Mr. Ricardo. I hope you don't mind if I call you Ricky. I've been watching your videos. I've been watching your videos for months. My name, I forgot to say who I was. My name is Carl, Carl LaFont. I'm in charge of engagement 
and obfuscation at uh, YouTube. You're, you're who and you do what? It, Vice President. Uh, Carl LaFon, engagement and obfuscation. It's kind of hard. You know, let's say you you have a YouTube channel and you, you something's happened, you've got a strike, and you can't get in touch with anybody, and you've tried email and calling and everything. Um, or even better, you, you, you got an email from, from YouTube, and you, you they say you have a million views, and congratulations. And next week they demonetize it, and they can't tell you why. Uh, that's engagement and obfuscation. That's that's me. Oh, I'm I'm familiar with your work. You do a good job. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. So why I'm here? Why I'm here, Mister Ricky? I hope you don't mind, Ricky. What a fantastic use! I haven't seen popcorn ceiling like this. My friends in Malibu would go crazy over this. You just can't find anybody to do this work anymore. It's like a lost art. Lost to antiquity. It's lost to antiquity. You just don't see it anymore. But anyway, everything from 1975. How did you get all this stuff together? It's like, you must. how much time do you have to do this? You have to tell me who your, your interior decorator is. You really do. It's fabulous. It's just fabulous. What an interesting use of space. What an interesting use of space. But anyway, why I'm here, why I've been trying to find you, is we're having, we're having an award show. All of the big, all of the big giant people who have made YouTube what it is in the last 12 and a half weeks are going to be at the award show. And so we want you to come. Everybody's going to be there. All everybody, the Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, all the Jimmys, Jimmy Dean, Jim Neighbors, everybody. I mean, just, just. I can't, I mean, I don't really watch YouTube. I can't really say who these people are, but we know you're one. You're like, all oh, your videos, your videos, your videos are crazy. They're crazy. They get like 350 million views in 24 hours. And it's ice cubes. Like, you're a genius. You're a freaking genius. You're a genius. So we need you. We want you to come. We want you to come. We want you to. Jenna Marbles? Who? I don't know. I, I don't really watch YouTube, but, but. I don't think Jenna Marbles is going to be there. I could check. I'll look into it for you. But uh, no, we're just going to be having all the really big giant people of the last 12 and a half weeks that have made YouTube what it is today. And uh, their fantastic videos and contributions to the YouTube landscape. And that's got to be you because you're at the top. You're at the top, Mr. Mr. Ricardo, you're just like, you're just blowing it out. You're just knocking it out. Just like, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. The great Googly told me personally to come talk to you because like, you're so hard to find. You're so hard to find. We sent email. We sent regular mail. We sent phone calls. We sent text. We found out they still send telegrams. We found a, a, a psychic in New Mexico, but still everybody. But they said, you know what? Since I'm in charge of engagement and obfuscation and, uh, not being able to contact anyone I should know. So that they sent me and here I am. Here I am. Ricky, it's so it's such a pleasure. It's a pleasure. What's what's on the agenda? What do you what ice cubes what ice cube devilish stuff you got going on this week, huh? You can't tell me. Okay. Well, it's such a pleasure. So you want me to go to your award show? Because of my Ice Cube channel. You know, I've been on YouTube for years. I was one of the very first, the very first ones to go on YouTube. Time after time, I had pioneered different YouTube videos and genres and niches. I was the first person to put on. A Will It Blend video, the first rant video, the first cooking video, the first lip syncing video. Did you ever give me any recognition? Did you ever give me any recognition? Did YouTube ever throw me a few crumbs when I really needed it? All the time I was making YouTube into what? 
it has become. You could care less about my channel and my videos. But now that I'm making millions of videos, views a day, you come crawling over and want me to be in your award ceremony. Do you even know the videos that I, I, I came up with that made YouTube what it is today? Does the great googly know my name? Do y'all ever talk about me before I made the Ice Cube channel? I don't think so. I don't think so. All you care about is the views. You don't care about the, the time I took to put in all my, my groundbreaking pioneering videos. Let's, let's take a look at the stuff I've done over the years that you just kind of forgot about. And you're not going to be mentioning it at a award show, are you? You're just going to be talking about the Ice Cube channel, the Ice Cube channel. That's all you're going to be talking about. I had the very first rant video, the very first cooking video, the very first ASMR video. That was me. That was me. The first, the first werewolf appreciation video. Of course, not many people have responded well to that one, but nevertheless, the first decluttering the house video, the first personal health video, the first gardening video, the first unboxing video. That was that was yours truly. Now you come seeing Ricky. Where was you when I needed you? Where was you before? I've been waiting days for it. And I just, I couldn't wait to show you. Uh, this is something that uh, I don't think anybody else has shown on, on YouTube, unboxing, and I, I just can't wait. Yeah. My new thing that I've just bought on eBay, and it's sweet, let me tell you, look at this. I just unboxed my, my brand new boxes. These are uh, 200 pound fresh proof indestructo mailers from Uline, isn't that amazing? No glue required, no tape required. Has little tabs, easy fold. It's just amazing. So I'm, I'm really happy that it came today, and you got to see me unboxing my new, brand new, Indestructo 200 pound proof boxes. Yo, Adrian, you see my turtles? No, Rocky, I haven't seen your fucking turtles. Yo, Adrian, watch your mouth, or I might have to slap you upside the head. If you ever touch me again, I will feed your stupid dog buckets to the penguins. Yo, you've changed, Adrian. You've changed. Number one rule for decluttering a house or apartment is to have a place for everything. This this is my, my place for really old coconuts. Hey, what happened? What happened to my store? This is the batteries and bulbs. Where's where's the tape and scissor store? What am I gonna do now?
What did they do to my store? Batteries and bulbs. Batteries and bulbs. Where's tapes and scissors? Where's my tapes and scissors store? You stupid capitalist. Boy, this makes me mad. Batteries and bulbs. Where's tapes and scissors? If I can find a cardboard and magic marker store, I'm gonna make a picket sign. I wanna speak to a manager. Batteries and bulbs. Batteries and bulbs. Batteries and bulbs. How to tell if you're really sick. If you if you're feeling really bad and you haven't erased all of the porn off of your computer, you're, you're going to be fine.
how my heart just stands still so much. If I didn't care, would it be the same? Would my every prayer begin and end with just your name? this award ceremony. Is Jenna Marbles going to be at the award ceremony? Ricky, 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 we love your early work. We love, we love to death your early videos. They're just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. They just don't get the views that your, your, your videos are getting now. And that's you know, one of the reasons we're here is that we don't know how you're getting the views you're getting now. We've, we looked into it. We changed the algorithm. We, we shut down the algorithm. We shut down your, where nobody was being sent to your channel, but it just kept growing anyway. So we thought it was a scam at first, but then we thought it was just something insanely magical we don't have any understanding for. And when the great Googly doesn't like that, so we needed to have this little talk. If you can, maybe tell us what's going on, Ricky because this is not normal. It's like, how does this happen? You can't tell us a little bit. You can't tell us a little bit what's going on. So anyway, we really want you to come to the award show. We really, really want you to come to the award show because everybody's going to be there, everybody, except maybe Jenna Marbles. We also want you to tell us maybe how your Ice Cube videos get 350 million views in 24 hours. Just a little bit. Can you tell us just a little bit? Tiny little hit. Just a hit. What if I, what can I guess? Am I getting warm? Am I getting close? You could write it down on a piece of paper and I could just sort of like look at it like you won't even have to show it to me. I could just like, like you know, just like be between you and us. That's all. It'd be like a secret. It's just a secret. How come? Why is this happening? You, you know, that's like it's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to happen. We've got the best engineers in the world. We are the best Albonian people we could find, and it's just not supposed to happen. So you got to tell us. You got to tell us got to tell us. Carl, would you like some tutti fruity ice cream? You know, I would love some tutti fruity ice cream. George, George Armstrong.
This is really good. Mmm. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Mm. I just love what you did with this place. That's a very interesting picture of George Armstrong. His name is Neil Armstrong, not George. You know, he never really went to the moon. <laughs> you can get out of my apartment. Now. Okay, okay, Ricky, Ricky, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be good. Um, don't forget what I said. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Think about what I said about coming to the awards. Everybody's going to be there. Everybody. I'll work, I'll work on getting Jenna marbles for you. You know, we're going to be, it's going to be good. Just keep, keep making those, keep making those ice cube videos, Ricky. Keep making those ice cubes. The great googly is happy with you. The great googly loves you. Keep keep making, doing what you're doing. We love you. See you out there. Come to the wards. Come to the ward, Ricky. You're going to love it. You're going to love it, Ricky. You're going to love it. Bye-bye. So it is my goal to grow at least seven inches taller. In the meantime, I've thought of some ways where I can just make myself look a little taller. Because in 2019, I really just want to walk into a room and be that bitch, you know? Ready? Just imagine it. Come on in, it's open. Hello, Bernie. Haven't seen you in a long time. I wasn't expecting to see you in another 35 years. Hey, Ricky. How you doing, Ricky? Just thought I'd stop by, Ricky. Just thought I'd stop by. Friendly call. How you doing, Ricky? Bernie, everything's just hunky dory. Just checking in on you. How's that deal doing, Ricky? You liking that deal? That's what I'm here for. I'm just making sure, making sure you're okay. You liking the deal? You want to live to 150? You want a lifetime supply of tutti frutti? You want 10 times more views than anybody on YouTube? How you doing? Yes, I've been very satisfied. You have met or exceeded my expectations. How are we liking it, deal, Ricky? You like it? I bet you like it. You better be liking it. You know how hard you know how hard this deal is for me, Ricky. I had to make a deal with the Tutti Frutti Ice Cream Company. They stopped making it, so I made a deal. They make it just for you. Nobody else in the world gets Tutti Frutti but you. But I make deals. I make deals. So, you know, that's not a problem. Ten times more views than anybody. You know how hard that is? Every day I got to count. Sometimes they make more videos. Sometimes they make less. Sometimes it's short video. Sometimes it's long. Does that count when it's a short video? What about the reaction videos? Or the ones that they say that's not good? You can't put them up. Like, and then you take them down. Like, it's a lot of work, Ricky. It's a lot of work. Okay, but, you know, I make deals. I make deals. That's what I do. So, just here to make sure you're happy. You liking that Tutti Frutti? You like that Tutti Frutti ice cream? I bet you do. I bet you like that Tutti Frutti ice cream. 
you think you could offer me some tutti frutti ice cream? Nobody else in the world gets any. People keep asking me, why can't they have any? I, I, I made a deal. I can't. I bet you, I bet people come in here, you give them some tutti ice cream. I bet they come in here, you give them some tutti frutti ice cream, just like that. So I'm not. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. It's a friendly call. If, if, if I if it wasn't friendly, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't friendly, I wouldn't be here. You know that. You know that. But you think you could offer me some? You could offer me some tutti frutti. You think? Would it hurt? Would it kill you to offer me some tutti frutti? You know, the only person in the world that has any. You want to keep it all to yourself. Keep it all to yourself. But a deal's a deal. A deal's a deal. We got a deal. The tutti frutti has been wonderful, Bernie. Would you like some tutti frutti, Bernie? Would I like some tutti frutti ice cream? Well, I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, man. Mm. Tutti frutti ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, Ricky. This is really good. Are you ready to go back, Ricky? Now that you're 150? No. Now that you're 150? Bernie, what are you talking about? The deal was I lived to 150. I was born in 1910. I'm 113. This is 37 years too early. Should have looked at the contract, Ricky. It doesn't say Earth years. On Pluto, you've been 150 for a long time. Maybe it was dog years. I'm going to cut you some slack. You should have, you should have looked at the contract, Ricky. You should have looked at the contract. That's not fair, Bernie. I still have stuff I got to do, Bernie. It's not fair. It ain't over, Bernie. It can't be over. I still got things inside me, Bernie. I got to do, Bernie. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me, Bernie. We had a deal. Get a deal, Barney. Mm. Good ice cream, though. But it's time to go, Ricky. It's time to go. You make a deal with the devil. What do you expect? Mm. It was worth it. So you're saying I should have looked at the contract. Bernie, you should have looked at the contract too. I think you've been spreading yourself kind of thin the last few years. You get old, Bernie. You should have looked at the contract too, Bernie. You should have looked. Contract is null and void, Bernie. My name's not Ricky. My name's not Ricky, Bernie. My name's not Ricky. What do you mean, Ricky? My real name is Wayne Blunderbuss Lapontoon of the Lemon City 
La Pontoons. Not the Philadelphia La Pontoons. Doesn't matter what name you used. You signed the contract. You signed the contract, Ricky. It doesn't matter. Exactly, Bernie. Exactly. I signed it, but that's not my name. I signed it. That's not me. From a legal standpoint, open and shut, open and shut. No, boy, you have no case. You have no case, Bernie. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. It'll never, it'll never stand up in court, Ricky. I own all the lawyers. They all work for me. Where are you going to find a lawyer? It's time to go back. You should have read the contract. It's time to go, Ricky. It's time to go. You made a deal. You signed your name. It doesn't matter if that's your name. You made a deal. It's time to go. And there's no lawyers to help you. They all work for me. Bernie, I knew you were going to trick me. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I didn't sign my name. I didn't sign it. And that's why I've been using all my YouTube money to hire the best lawyer there is that doesn't work for you. The best there is. I think you're going to be surprised. So you found a lawyer. What's his name? Bob. Blah, blah. Bob, blah, blah. Bob, blah, blah. Bob, blah, blah. Bob. Blah, blah. Bob, blah, blah. Bob, blah, blah has been missing for years. Where did you find Bob, blah, blah? I found him. The one place you'd never find him. The one place no one would ever look for him. The one place nobody even thinks exists anymore. Where did you find Bob Blah Blah? I found him on MySpace. MySpace? Does that even exist anymore? Ricky, you don't have a case. You don't have a lawyer. It's never going to stand up in court. It's time to go. It's time to go, Ricky. Well, come in. It's open. Well, speak of the devil. Oh, I'm sorry, Bernie. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Beelzebub. Wayne? I want to thank both of you for allowing me to come at this time. A later meeting would inconvenience me. And I appreciate the opportunity to meet with you over this matter at this time. I think we all know why I'm here. I think we both know why I am here this morning. Mr. Beelzebub, my client, Wayne Bundabus La Pontoon of the Lemon City Pontoons, not the Philadelphia Pontoons, has hired me and kept me on retainer to deal with any 
irregularities, contractual or otherwise, that may have arisen in the future. And here we are. I know we're both, Mr. Beelzebub, busy people. And if you will allow me, I will lay my cards on the table and present my case. I know you think that there is a deal with my client, Wayne, pursuant to his signing or not signing a contract. There is no evidence my client signed this contract. Be that as it may, even if he did, the law is very specific and clear. I'm a little bit puzzled as to why I'm meeting here, because the law is very clear, Mr. Beelzebub, and I'm surprised, a little, a little surprised at this situation we find ourselves in. If you would allow me, I will present my case to you clearly as I can, going over the law pertaining to this particular situation for my client. And I don't think after I finish, you will have any more deal. If you'll allow me. I am becoming like the day a little older. Case law pursuant to contractual obligations signed by individuals or entities such as yourself. Pursuant to the laws and principles of contract formation, a valid and enforceable contract requires the parties to mutually to mutually assent to the material terms of the agreement. One, one essential element of a contract is the identification, the identification of the parties involved, which is critical to establishing the mutual assent necessary to create a binding agreement. In the present case, in the present case, the contract executed between Ricky Ricardo, Elso, known as Wayne Blunderbuss La Pontoon of the Lemon City Pontoons, not the Philadelphia Pontoons. And the devil fails to sufficiently identify the signator by name, rendering void and unenforceable. If the devil fails to sufficiently identify the signatory by name, rendering void and unenforceable, void and unenforceable, we get to the heart of the matter. The importance of clear, the importance of clear identification in contractual agreements is well established in both legal precedent and scholarly, and, scholar, and scholarly commentary. Indeed, numerous court decisions have held that contracts, such as we have here, lacking clear and unambiguous identification of the parties, are void for vagueness and mutual assent. This fundamental principle applies to equally, equally to contracts with supernatural entities, such as the devil, as it does to contract between natural persons. Here, the contract executed between Ricky, also known as Wayne La Pontoon of the Lemon City La Pontoons and not the Philadelphia Pontoons, and the devil fails to clearly identify the signatory by name or other identifying characteristics, it would have been so simple. While the contract may have been signed by an individual, while the contract may have been signed 
by an individual using the name Ricky Ricardo, there is no way to definitively establish the true identity of the signatory, nor is there any indication that the devil took any steps to verify the identity of the individual purporting to sign the contract. There is no case. There is no deal. My work is done. Okay. You're okay, you're breaking a deal? You're breaking a deal? I don't need this. I don't need this deal. I don't need this deal. I don't need anything. I don't need I don't need anything. I don't need anything in, in this. All I need. All I need is this roll of Christmas paper. That's all I need. I don't need your deal. I don't need your deal. In this book. Confederacy of Dunces. That's all I need. This this tube of Christmas paper in Confederacy of Dunces. I'm 14,000 things to be happy about by Barbara Ann Kipfer. That's all I need. That's all I need. This roll of roll of Christmas paper. I don't need your deal. I don't need your deal. 14,000 things to be happy about. Confederacy done it. That's all I need. In the whole house, I don't need your deal. Forget about your deal. Forget about your deal. In this, in this can of WD-40. That's all I need. That's all I need. WD-40. Christmas paper, Confederacy of Dunces, 14,000 things to be happy about. That's all I need. That's all I need. Forget the deal. Forget your deal. Forget your deal. This isn't over. Forget your deal. WD-40, Confederacy of Dunces, 14,000 things to be about. Christmas paper. Oh, what do we got here? Angel food cake? No... No devil food cake, you racist. But this, ah, this is all I need. This is all I need. This straw, this straw, and this WD forty. This straw and this WD forty. Drainage, drainage. I drink. I drink. You have WD forty. I have WD forty. I have a straw. I drink. I drink your WD-40. I drink your WD-40. That's all I need. That's all I need in this whole house. Christmas paper. 14,000 things to be happy about. Confederacy Dunces. No deal. I don't need your deal. I don't, don't talk to me. I don't need your deal. It's over. It's over. No more. I don't need, I don't need this. I don't need this. Does, does it open the top or is it up or down? It's they're both they're both this way. They're supposed to be this way or that way. I don't need this. This isn't over. Bob, let me ask you a very important question. Would you like some 2D fruity ice cream? I got sprinkles. Sprinkles are for winners. Singing a hallelujah song, oh Lord, up jumped the 
ever before you just keep plodding along. Hello, Satan, how you feel? Get the devil off your heels. ba da 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 da